Peruvian Dota to stalwart Thunder Awaken are the fifth team to qualify for the International TI 2023 from the regional qualifiers after they claimed the second spot in the South American qualifier with a 2-0 sweep over Akatsuki in the qualifiers lower bracket finals on Sunday August 27. After finishing in the top 6 of TI 2022, Thunder Awakens roster left for Evil Geniuses and Beast Coast, prompting the organization to field a new roster for the 2023 Dota Pro Circuit DPC season. Thunder Awaken started the season with Belarusian import ADXCI, Smiling Knight Spirida, alongside Peruvian players Ricardo Alon Fernandez, Morio Illich Dash Valdivia, Miguel Michael Dash Gomez, and Christian Excel Cruz. But after only finishing fifth in the Winter Tour Regional League for South America, Thunder Awaken replaced Alon and Michael with Jordan Satan Dollar Vega and Ramel MJZ Quinteros. The team then managed back-to-back third-place finishes in the Spring and Summer Tour Regional Leagues ahead of the TI 2023 Regional Qualifiers. Thunder Awaken were one of the biggest favorites to come out of the South American Qualifier. Living up to their promise with a 2-0 sweep over Baroques in the first round of the upper bracket. However, the next round saw them get knocked down to the lower bracket by Vivo Keat Stars, who went on to claim the first of two regional qualifier spots for South America in TI 2023. Thunder Awaken then defeated Kaylee and Matt Kings to advance to the lower bracket finals, where they faced Akatsuki for the second spot in TI 2023. Thunder Awaken came out swinging to start the series, dominating Akatsuki to the tune of a 21-6 kill lead in 35 minutes. Satan Dollar led the way on Lashrek by putting up 8 kills and 9 assists on 1 death, while Smiling Knight on Morphling pitched in with a clean 5 kills and 3 assists. Akatsuki put up a better fight in Game 2. Though they could do little to stop Thunder, awaken from punching their ticket to TI 2023 in a 35-minute route. Satan Dollar spearheaded Thunder Awakens' relentless onslaught on Ember Spirit. Finishing with a stellar 21 kills and 14 assists on zero deaths. Smiling Knight also did some heavy lifting with Drow Ranger and notched 12 kills and 15 assists on just one death. With their victory over Akatsuki, Thunder Awaken are now the fifth team to qualify for TI 2023 through the regional qualifiers. China's Azure Ray, North America's Nouns Esports, Eastern Europe's Virtus.pro, and Vivo Kit Stars were the first four teams to earn a spot in this year's World Championship Tournament for Dota 2 through the regional qualifiers. Thunder Awaken will also be the fourth South American team in TI 2023, joining fellow qualifier Team Vivo Kit Stars and directly invited squads Evil Geniuses and Beast Coast. TI 2023's regional qualifiers will run until August 31st. With the competition being split into three five-day phases, where two regions will compete in each phase. With the qualifiers for North America, China, South America and Eastern Europe now concluded. Western Europe and Southeast Asia will then close things out from 27 to August 31. TI 2023 will be hosted across multiple weekends from 12 to October 29 in Seattle, the United States. This year's tournament also features a revamp format split into two distinct phases, called the road to the international and the international itself 